Hi, welcome to another craft video from the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. I'm Cheryl and I do the craft kits for the main library. This video is to accompany a craft kit that we'll be giving out at the main library on May 1st, 2022. But if you don't get to the library in time to get your kit, or if you're watching this later, don't worry. You can make this lovely little Zen garden with supplies you buy at the craft store. Now, I don't know if you know what a little Zen garden is. This is a miniature desktop version of a Zen garden. It's a Japanese concept where they put boulders and pebbles and sand in a garden, in a space, and they draw designs in the sand. And it's supposed to be calming and soothing. This is a little mini desktop version made out of a box lid, sand, and pebbles. And you can use it as a form of meditation or just calming this, you know, drawing designs in the sand and erasing them and drawing them again. Everything you'll need is going to be in the craft kit. You will need a pair of scissors though. Let's get started. So what's in the kit, or what you'll need to get if you're doing this at home, is some sand. Uh, I used brown colored sand from the craft store. Uh, you can use fancy colored sand, any kind of sand you want. You'll need some uh, a glue stick. You'll need some sort of box lid. Um, I get these box lids and I save them for crafts. I don't know what else to do with them. I don't want to throw them away. So any kind of box or shallow box or box lid from about, oh I'd say this one's about three or four inches up to fancy boxes, anything like that. This one I think is probably about six inches square. You'll need a little wooden skewer. This is to draw designs in the sand. You'll need uh, some small pebbles sized to fit your little sand garden. And then we're gonna use some scrap paper. You should have two colors of scrap paper in your kit to give you an option. We're gonna use the scrap paper to cover the outside and the inside edges. We're not going to worry about the bottom because that's where the sand goes and it's going to completely cover it. So you will need to provide a pair of scissors. Now let's get started. Let me set the sand and the skewer and the rocks aside. So I think I am going to use the green there should be enough to cover what we need to cover it. So I'm going to kind of make a strip that I'm going to fit outside and inside. So I'm going to need a strip about that wide. You want to make it a little bit more than you need it because you can always cut it down. Now your your craft uh, your box may have taller sides than this one. This one has small sides, this one has taller sides, so just get enough to fit around. If you have a, if you like the way the box looks on its own, you don't even have to cover it with scrapbook paper, but I think it's a nice decorative touch. All right, so I am going to glue, I'm going to run some glue along the outside here. And I'm going to glue the bottom of the strip to that. I don't need to do the bottom. I mean, if I want to, I can cover the whole back if I have enough paper. But I don't need to do that because I'm not going to be want oh, seeing that part. So I'm just going to cover all the edges. If you have a square edge or corner. Just crease it right there. And crease this one. 
All right, so I could just keep on going, but I think I'm going to deal with this part first and show you how to do the corners when you fold it in. When you're doing a corner, you need to trim right on that corner down to the top of your box. That will make a nice little edge where you can go in and crease it with your fingernails like this. Now you can either just glue that down like that or you can lift it up and trim it where you creased it. I think I'm going to trim it just a little bit in here. fits just a bit better. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue this all down. And I'm going to do the same thing for each side. why didn't you just trim off that part of the corner and just do one side piece for each side? Because if I trim this off right there and just try and butt the next piece of paper up against it, I'm going to leave a little line of white right there between the two. And I don't want it to be white, any white showing. So I'm going to make sure I do around the corners to make sure the corners are covered. Okay, now I'm going to, and when I do another piece, I'm going to overlap so that I don't have any white spots. So there's my nicely covered box. Like I said, I'm not going to do the bottom, but if I wanted to, I certainly could. I could just glue it and trim it off. I'm not going to worry about this part because that's going to be covered by sand. But if I wanted to, I could cut a little piece of the, the paper and glue it there so the whole thing is covered. That's strictly a matter of personal preference. That's up to you. Now one thing I do want to show you. None of the kits in ours contain uh, ones with rounded corners or rounded edges. But I wanted to show you what you need to do if you have rounded boxes or if you want to do a circle box. You do much the same thing. You put the glue on the edge. You line up the bottom, and in this case, instead of creasing it and cutting the corners, I'm going to trim this down a little bit. Instead of creasing the corners and then cutting, you're just going to be cutting strips. everywhere there's a curve and then the strips will get glued down the same way you did the larger pieces So you see you'll have the nice curve going on and a nice smooth outside. 
So that's how you handle curved boxes. So you're going to set that aside to dry. We're going to pretend it's already dry. And then you're going to open up your sand and pour it in. Now you might not have to use all the sand. You do not want to pour the sand all the way up to the edge because if you do that it's going to start spilling over. Looks like I'm only going to need one of my bags. You want to get it halfway to two-thirds full. Then you're going to give it a little bit of a shake, taps, to kind of get it nice and smooth. And you're going to decorate it with the rocks. And I just made my little dent, dent in it. Now you don't have to use all the rocks, but it's just the thing where you pretend it's a rock garden and decorate with your rocks. And the Zen part of your Zen garden it's kind of a meditative effect. You take your skewer and then you just draw designs in the sand. And just draw whatever you want in the sand, however you want it, and create ripples. This is just a mindfulness thing sit there and just as you're doing your your sand drawings you just kind of let your mind take a little break and just relax and don't focus on anything but the sand and that's it very simple very calming and easy to do. Thanks for coming to another craft video. I'll see you next time. Bye!